Released, Keith Davis Jr., tried four times for a Baltimore murder, is now free. The city's top prosecutor explains his decision. Hello, everybody. I'm Denise Koch. And I'm Nikki Zizazo. Welcome to those of you watching on CBS News Baltimore and on WJZ TV. New state's attorney Ivan Bates called the case troubling and says he released Davis because it was the right thing to do. But the family of Kevin Jones, the murder victim, believes they will never get justice. So, WJZ investigator Mike Helgren is live at the state's attorney's office. He's going to break down every development for us. Quite a shock, Mike. It is Denise and Nikki, a big decision by state's attorney Ivan Bates coming just days after he took office. He says this is a complex case, but that there was ethically no way that he could move forward. Keith Davis Jr. tried four times for the same murder is now free. These are pictures with his wife and supporters at his release. New state's attorney Ivan Bates dismissed all charges and blamed his predecessor, Marilyn Mosby, for what he called missteps and pursuing a conviction at all costs. And I had never in my entire career seen the chief state's attorney have a presumption of prosecutorial vindictiveness. That was game over, was done. The case dates to June 2015. Davis was arrested for the murder of Kevin Jones, a security guard at Pimlico, shot 11 times in the racetrack's parking lot. The case was largely circumstantial. And when you look at the messiness in all the particular problems and issues over and over again coming from the state's attorney's office, you get to a point there's no way that a jury can sit down and say, we feel confident in the outcome of this case. Still, Joan's grandmother told me she's outraged that Bates dropped the charges and a fifth trial set to begin in May. I was screaming and just yelling, no, how could they do this? And then again, how could they do this with no notice? And it seems they want to put everything on Marilyn Mosby. Bates says he's asked the police commissioner to put fresh eyes on the murder. Joan's grandmother doubts that will make a difference. I don't think they're going to be interested. I really don't think they're going to do anything sufficient to bring that boy to justice. I don't. Such an injustice for, as far as Kevin is concerned. She says police have not contacted her. She also says she does not blame Marilyn Mosby for what happened. Mosby has not had any public comment since this new development today. Coming up new at 5 o'clock, we will hear from Debbie Katz Levy. She is the attorney representing Keith Davis Jr. and will have emotional new video of the moment Davis' wife learned that he was going to be released.